Hi and welcome to this instructional video brought to you by Hoover. In this video we're going to go through the general maintenance tasks to keep your Hoover H3 floor care appliance in its best operational condition. Firstly start by emptying the dust box on a regular basis and we suggest this should be done after every use or when the box gets two thirds full to avoid potential blockages. To do this simply place the dust box over your waste bin and press the release catch to open the flap. To give it a full clean or to wipe inside, you can twist the container anti-clockwise and remove it. This will also give you access to the filters to be able to clean those too. With the mesh, cone and dust box all removed, you can wash all three in warm water. To clean the rest of the unit, use a damp cloth and allow to dry fully before reassembling. And remember that the cone will only fit one way with a pointer towards the padlock symbol. Next on our list of important maintenance tasks is the exhaust filter filter. Simply squeeze the sides of the exhaust filter holder and pull the holder out. Then take the filter off the carrier and wash with warm water. Again, make sure that everything is fully dried before reassembling. As with any floor care appliance, it's important to check your hose periodically for any blockages. If the suction power has diminished, this could well be the problem. Start by performing a visual inspection. Make sure to also check the extension tube is not clogged through its length and especially where it fits to the body of the cleaner. There's a flap at the entrance to the dust box which can get jammed shut with debris or a blockage. Check this area and remove any buildup that may be found. The H3 has a handy brush bar status indicator that when illuminating blue means that everything is fine. However, should the light turn red, this indicates that the brush has seized and requires cleaning. Be sure to also visually check the floor brush for any obstructions. To perform the floor care brush maintenance, start by clipping the retainer at the sides and lift the brushes out. Carefully remove any debris blocking the head or tangled around the brush roll. If the bristles are Worn, a new brush may need to be fitted and we recommend that the brush roll is replaced around once a year. Replacements or spare parts can be found at hoover.co.uk. One of the more unique features of the H3 product is the two wiper blades which can be fitted for best performance. We recommend to fit the blades into the sole plate of the nozzle. Start by removing the agitator and soft strip by pulling it up and out. Both blades can then be slid into the two remaining slots. Once both are fitted, refit the brush roll. Should you find that the cleaner is harder to push on some floor coverings, simply remove the blades. You can also turn off the brush by pressing the carpet button on the top of the unit, and this will help to combat varying carpet piles and coverings. Pressing the carpet button will also boost the power and can be used when using any of the other cleaning tools. And finally, we're going to look at best battery practice. The battery can be charged either in place or removed from the unit entirely. For best battery life and prolonged run times, we recommend that you run your H3 flat at least once a month and charge it back up. The battery lights will flash blue during use, indicating it's about to run flat. During charging, the light will illuminate red and turn blue when fully charged. It's normal to feel warm whilst charging. If the battery light is flashing red during the charging process then please ensure that you're using the correct charger that came with the product otherwise it's indicating that the battery is faulty in this case a replacement battery can also be purchased from the spare section of the hoover.co.uk website so now you know all about how to keep your h3 floor care appliance in top working order should you need further information you can revisit a particular part of this video or the aftercare section of the hoover website too.